Hi, I'm Finn Peacock. Do you get paid for making solar electricity? Well, the short answer to that question is thankfully yes, you do get paid for the solar electricity you make. And the longer answer to that question, well, that's what this video is about. Okay, so to understand how you get paid for your solar electricity, you've got to understand that there's two different ways you get paid for solar electricity. Um, those two ways depend on whether you are using the solar electricity in your house or you're exporting the solar electricity to the grid. To make this clearer, let's have a look at this graph. Okay, this is a graph of the electricity demand in your house, how much electricity your house is using compared to the amount of electricity generated by a typical solar system. Let's, let me talk you through the graph. The blue line, um, it starts at midnight on the left. At midnight, maybe there's someone up watching late night crap TV, <laughs> I don't know. Um, so there's, but generally there's not gonna be much electricity used apart from maybe a TV um, and some lights. As people start to go to bed, maybe uh, that's one or two in the morning in some houses, um, generally by two or three in the morning, everyone will be in bed and that will be when there's very little electricity being used apart from a few appliances on standby. That's the first dip. Um, everyone wakes up, you get your first peak, um, they put the lights on, put the toaster on, put the heating on, put, you know, whatever. Um, you get your first peak of the day as everyone gets ready for work, gets ready for school, whatever. Then everyone generally, um, if it's a domestic house, leaves the house and the electricity use again drops um, until people get back from work or school. Um, stick the computers on, the TVs, the heating, the cooling, depending on the season. And then that's actually when you get the biggest peak of the day in uh, electricity demand. And that's the second highest peak you can see. And then as everyone goes to bed, it drops off again. And we start again. So that's the blue line, electricity demand for a typical Australian house. Now look at the yellow line, um, the yellow lump. That's the typical output from a solar system, which uh, unsurprisingly, nothing at night, nothing in the evening, um, and it peaks at about midday, um, solar noon. Um, and that's when you've got the most amount of sun, that's when you get the most amount of solar power. Now, the uh, interesting thing there is that the peak in household demand and the peak in solar electricity supply don't coincide. So generally, in most households, you'll be exporting a lot of electricity in the middle of the day, and that's the orange shaded area. The yellow shaded area is the solar electricity you're generating that you're using in the house. Now, these are the two, these two shaded areas show the different amounts of money you get for your solar electricity. If you offset the electricity in your home, the amount of money you're saving, it's fairly simple, it's whatever you pay for electricity. So generally in Australia at the moment, 2012, that's about 25 cents a kilowatt hour. Now, how much do you get paid for the electricity you export? Well, how much electricity you export depends on the time of day. Um, and it's calculated on a second by second basis, instantaneously. Um, and it depends on where you are in the country. Every state in Australia has a different feed-in tariff. It varies from Queensland, which at the moment is very generous. You get about 44 cents a kilowatt hour. So it's actually more profitable to export electricity. Um, to Victoria, where it's about one for one. So that is quite nice because it keeps things simple. It basically makes no difference whether you export or import to how much, um, sorry, export or offset to how much um, money you're getting per kilowatt hour. And then you've got the rest of Australia, um, where basically you're generally getting a lot less for the electricity you export um, than what you're paying for electricity. So. Um, for example, poor old, uh, poor old buggers in New South Wales are getting about six cents a kilowatt hour if they're lucky for exported electricity. So how much you get paid for depends on A, what state you're in and what your feed-in tariff is. If you want to know that, have a look on the website. I go through what the feed-in tariffs are for each state. Um, and it depends on your electricity use pattern. So it is actually quite a complicated equation and a good solar salesman, solar installer, will work it out for you by looking at your electricity bill and looking when you use electricity in the day. So hopefully what that graph's put across is that you get paid two different amounts for your solar electricity. The yellow part on the graph, that was electricity you're using in the home. Um, that's generally um, gets paid at one rate. Well, it saves, you save money at one rate. The, uh, the orange part of the graph, that was what you export. And that depends on um, which state you're in and what your feed-in tariff is. So what I'm trying to say is that yes, you get paid for your solar electricity, but it is quite a complicated equation. 
It depends on when you use your electricity during the day, how big your solar system is, what state you live in, what your feeding tariff is. Now, what that means is that you can't just look at someone's electricity bill, say, oh, you use $600 a quarter, so you need a system this size. Bullshit. Okay, that's a sign of a pretty lame salesman. You need to actually look at when the customer uses, when you use your electricity during the day, and you need to do some fairly complex arithmetic to kind of make some educated guesses as to the size of solar system they need to maximize their payback based on the importing and exporting patterns. Now what I've created is a solar calculator, so you can do this yourself to get a good idea, um, which is a good first start. Um, here's the link. What you can do in that calculator is you can put in your state, you can put in your solar system size, um, it'll work out about how many kilowatt hours a day you'll generate. You've got to estimate, um, you know, guesstimate how much you think you're going to export, how much you think you're going to, of your solar electricity you're going to use in your home. Um, a few other variables, it crunches all those together, puts in electricity price inflation and quite a few other things and comes out with a cash flow forecast and a payback. So that's a good sanity check um, if you've been told by some sales guy that the payback is such and such. Um, stick some numbers in the calculator, see if you get a similar number uh, because I, that's a pretty good calculator. I think it covers all the bases, I think so. So that was a very long answer to a very short question. Do you get paid for your solar electricity? As you can see, thanks to the polys having uh, different feeding tariffs, different rates for whether you buy the electricity or sell the electricity and um, different solar power generation at different times of the day is quite a complicated equation. Um, and you probably want a really good uh, solar salesman to talk you through the payback um, and to do the sums properly, not just you know, oh, you got a $600 bill, you need a this size system. That's not good enough in this day and age to calculate the payback of a solar system.